Hello everyone, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we'll be showing you how you can go ahead and install any additional SOLIDWORKS products such as Simulation, Visualize, Composer that you may have purchased or just want to recently add onto your existing SOLIDWORKS computer. So how we can do that is through the SOLIDWORKS Installation Manager which is quite easy to navigate through and set up and you can be on your way to use your brand new SOLIDWORKS products. So on an existing SOLIDWORKS computer, all we have to do to modify the individual installation would be to select the Start menu, we'll navigate over to the Control Panel, select the Programs feature, we'll go to Programs and Features, and then if we scroll down to our SOLIDWORKS installation, we can right click it and there's a button called Change or Modify and that's the one we'll select to open up the Installation Manager here. So once the installation manager opens up, we have a number of options to choose from. So the one we're going to select whenever we add or remove products is through the modify the individual installation method. So we click next. This takes us to our serial number page. Now this is the page where you will enter any additional product keys for your SOLIDWORKS products such as simulation, visualize, composer, inspection, any additional products you will need the correct license key for it and input it into the correct category specified. Once you've completed this check and inputted all your necessary licenses, you can just select next to move on to the product selection page. So now that we have arrived at the product selection page, it is time to select which products we want to install on our computer. So a number of products are already listed here, but there may be some products that are not already listed in the drop-down list. In order to gain access to the full suite of SOLIDWORKS products to choose from, we have to select the Select Different Packages or Products link with the top right. And once we do that, we have to tick the checkbox that says Also Show Products That Are Not Part of This Package. Once we do that, all of the associated SOLIDWORKS product lines will be listed in the drop-down menu, and we can manually go in and select the ones that we would like to install. Once that's done, we select Next which takes it to the summary page. So you should see any of the additional products that you are installing listed on the products to add selection, as well as the estimated installation size and the decimated download size. So once you select the, tap the terms of the SOLIDWORKS and then click download and modify, the installation will begin and will shortly complete. So this is the page that will show up once the installation is complete and you can go ahead and select all of your SOLIDWORKS products from there on within the SOLIDWORKS program. So that's how you go ahead and install any additional SOLIDWORKS products on your existing SOLIDWORKS computer and we'll see you on the next Tech Tip Tuesday. Thank you.